Welcome to sportsbookreview.com. I'm Flash, and this is your home for KBO and CPBL at South Korea and Taiwanese baseball. 0 and 5 two days ago, and then it's 5 and 0. What a way to respond. Jason Radowitz is my partner in crime. He's the one that does it all, so he's Batman, and I am at best Robin. Jace, 5 and 0. What a way to respond. What a morning. That was so much fun after a morning of just pure chaos. First, we have an 0-5 from import pitchers. Then we go 4-0 and with import pitchers. So, yeah, crazy difference, uh, but we're happy with the, uh, the outcome this morning. Yeah, the other thing is I like 5-0, and banker, tick, parlay, tick. That's honestly, we were talking about just putting a Band-Aid on to stop the bleeding. Someone came in the middle of the night, put some magic cream on the, on the cuts and you wake up and they're just not there. Now, before we go on to Jay's picks, first of all, we're going to go to Taiwan. I'm going to say to you, please subscribe, press the thumbs up, ring the bell. Thumbs up is appreciation, but the ringing the bell means we will notify you and you never miss any content. And now we start a new series of games. I don't think you're going to want to miss any. And also press the link in the description and you can go over and what, uh, read Jay's articles. And it's not just Jay's articles over there. There's many sports from many different writers. Right, let's crack straight on, Jay. 5-0, and o, fish and chip paper, we call it in England, because it's yesterday's news. We're going to go to Taiwan, CPBL, and we're going to start with the Brothers and the Lions. Yeah, so this is a fun matchup. Um, in the CPBL, we have uh, an import versus import in the other game. This game, we have an import versus a local pitcher. Um, so I'm going with an official player of the Uni Lions at minus 130, um, and then a lean on the over 12.5. Ryan Farabound is on the mound for the Uni Lions. He's the import pitcher for the Uni Lions. In his last three starts, he's actually allowed just one run in each start. He started off the season so, so, so poor. But it looks like he figured it out. And now you can definitely, you know, put him down as the ace of the staff. He has a 3.79 ERA, an FIP of 5.69, which is a little high. But if you recall a couple of weeks ago, it was a lot higher than 5.69. Uh, he's faced the brothers three times this season. He has a win, a loss, and a no decision. Uh, but if you combine all those three starts, he only allowed six runs. Um, yeah, he's been a lot better as of late. So I'm going to ride with uh, Ryan Fairbound of the Uni Lions. He got this win with the uh, over the brothers. If it was a horse, we'd say he's running into form and obviously he's going the right way. So, yeah, we definitely want to be with him. And uh, really at minus 130, it's a flip em. Um And over 12.5. Remember yesterday, we were also talking about the minus 1.5s. We're starting to get a bit confident here. Starting to get a bit cocky. Let's move on with the underperforming monkeys against the Guardians. Yes, yeah, now we're getting cocky because I have the official play with the monkeys at minus 1.5, although the juice is minus 160. So I can't really say there's value there. However, I can say that I do believe it'll happen. So that's why I'm taking it. So we have Brian Whittles on the mound for uh, the Guardians. He has a 7.36 ERA and a 6.9 FIP. He's been a lot better in his last two games, but a lot better still means that he let up 12 runs. His strikeout numbers are a lot higher. So he hasn't really struck, he hasn't really had any strikeouts until the last two outings. Um, but yeah, he struggled against the, uh, against the monkeys um, in the past. So it just, this, this one, it just screams monkeys all around because uh, Lisa Alberto Bonilla is on the mound for the monkeys. And he had, he's coming away from a seven inning performance where he allowed two, just two hits in his last game. No runs. He looks in form. And um, if you're going to take an import pitcher out of these two, it's going to be Bonilla. And then you have the Monkeys offense that has hit Whittle really well in the three games that they played against him. So we're going to ride with the Monkeys, even though their offense has been a little shaky recently. And it, and it seems to pay long term to stay with your import. Don't like chop and change. Don't start thinking, overthinking things, because the imports, they will make you money if you follow them. Yeah. And like at the end of the day, Brian Whittle. He's been in part of the league for quite some time now. This is his third year with the Fubon Guardians, but this is where he's kind of like digressing. He's not he's not playing nearly as well as he uh, did previously. And Bonilla's coming in with a fresh arm. This is his first season in this league, and he's uh, he's, he's performing a lot more and a lot better. So. 
OK, well, let's go to South Korea, KBO. What a horrible game we're going to start with. We're going to start with the Samsung Lions. As we've always told you, don't bet against them. Don't go with them. And again, yesterday, after an unbelievable win, they put up an unbelievable bad performance and get absolutely smashed. So it's the Lions versus the Wyverns and the SK. They're probably the form or second best team in the league at the moment. Yeah, SK has been playing really well lately. Although they've lost their last two games uh, to the, the team in the top of the uh, of the league, but um, yeah, I think early we saw SK Wyverns. They were an underdog to begin. They opened up as an underdog and they quickly shifted as a favorite. I'm not sure what happened there, if that was a mistake or whatnot. So now you can get the SK Wyverns at about minus 130, minus 140. I originally got them at noon Eastern time at plus 110. So if you find that, definitely hop on that as quick as you see it. If not, I still like the uh, play at the official play of SK Wyverns at around minus 130, minus 140 range. Um, this is an interesting matchup because, again, we have an imported pitcher facing a non-imported pitcher. SK Wyverns have Ricardo Pinto on the mound. But Ricardo Pinto hasn't pitched like an imported pitcher. He's pitched like a local pitcher. He hasn't been that great. He's been able to escape jams, but, again... It's just, what are you going to get out of him? What's Samsung going to do? Their offense is either hot or it's either cold. It's never in between. Um, but Kim Dae Woo is pitching for Samsung. He, this is, will be his third start of the season. He's uh, got a 6.61 FIP and a 4.5 ERA. So we know he's been a little bit lucky to begin the season. Um, he's given up five runs in nine innings of work. And uh, Pinto, on the other hand, he allowed six walks in his last start, um, which he's been, a, he's been a walk guy this entire season, but six walks is a little absurd. Don't think it's going to happen again, again against Samsung. He's got a 4.79 ERA and a 4.69 FIP. So his ERA basically is saying what his FIP is saying. It's the same. Like That's who he is. That's what he's going to do. Um, he only has 17 strikeouts on the season. So he has 17 strikeouts and 17 walks which is really, really bad. But, again, he's a, an important pitcher. He's got a little, little bit more experience. Samsung just put up a, a, an egg. And uh, we're going to go with SK here. Where are we looking on the total? I mean, I'm thinking to myself that Wyverns are normally good between six and eight runs nearly every single game. So are we looking around at 10.5? Yeah, it's funny. Both of these teams just put up zero runs in their last game. But we're still going to lean towards the over 10.5. Again, we have two pitchers that have been not so friendly. Um, yeah, they, they, they've allowed a ton of hits, a ton of walks, a ton of chances, opportunities. And the, the Wyverns have been hot, and the Samsung Lions could probably score a couple runs against Pinto. So I would lean towards the over 10.5, but I would stick with my official play with the SK Wyverns. At, with mine is plus 110, but if you get it at minus 130, that's completely fine. Nice little 7-4, nice little 8-4, something like that. Now let's go on. The Tigers go to the Bears. And Doosan, they're starting to put themselves together. Yeah, the Doosan Bears are really good on the road. Not so much at home, which is weird to say. It's not that they've been so bad. It's just that their hitting hasn't been nearly as good um, yeah, at home. So the Kia Tigers are coming off a sweep. Um, and now they have a pitcher, Lee Min Wu, on the mound who's pitched really well to start the season. I think all of Kia Tigers uh, starters have pitched really well to begin the season. Maybe they weren't supposed to be the best starting rotation in the league, but they performed at a high level. So Min Wu has a 3.88 ERA and an FIP of 3.21. Um, and then you have Lee Young Ha of Deucin Bears. He has an ERA of 5.14 and an FIP of 4.57. So I'm leaning towards Kia at around that plus 110 range. I, I, I think that Kia, they have a lot of potential moving forward. They're, they're pitching really well. They can stay in games. And like we said, the Deucin Bears, they don't hit nearly as much at home. The ballpark is a, is a wide ballpark, a lot of warning track shots instead of home runs that both teams are used to. So I'm looking at leaning towards the under 10.5 in this matchup as well. Um, Min Wu of the Kia Tigers, He's holding lefties to a 250 average this season, which is pretty good. And Deucin's a left, lefty heavy lineup. So if Min Woo can hold down the uh, the Deucin lineup at around that 250 average, which is really good, 
I don't see why Kia can't win this game or at least stay in it. So I like Kia as a value play at around plus 110. And it's just a lean to go under the 10.5? It's just a lean. I might announce later that I'll take it. I am leaning towards it right now. It might be an official play later on, but for now we're, we're just going to lean. Okay, let's go to the Wiz and the Giants. Giants off a 0-3 visit to the Tigers, as we said before. Where are we going, Wiz versus the Giants, Jay? So I like the official play of over 12 in this matchup. And we keep saying how bad the Lockheed Giants have been offensively. They can't score. They struggled like really bad against Kia. But then again, we just said how Kia has a really good pitching staff. They have a really good rotation. And their setup man and closer are really good, too. So when we look at bullpen numbers, we're, we're, we're looking at the entire picture instead of looking at the guys that come in when the team's in the lead, right? So I think the Latte Giants will start scoring a little bit more, um, especially against KT Wiz that don't have particularly have the best uh, pitching staff. They've lost Cuevas to an injury, their best starter. Um, so yeah, so Siu Jun Wan of Latte, he's pitching. He's pitched 21.2 innings this season, has a 5.09 ERA and a 5.49 FIP. And then Kim Min Su, he's starting his first game of the season in in place for the injured Cuevas. Um, yeah, he has a 14.14 ERA in nine games pitched in relief. He's only pitched in seven innings in nine games. So he hasn't even made it out of one inning in some of his uh, appearances. He has a 6.46 uh, a, a 6 FIP. So I'm totally looking at the over in this matchup. I think that KT Wiz, they have the best offense in the uh, in the league right now. They can score, you know, whenever the hell, whenever the heck they want. And then at the end of the day, Latte should be able to score some runs on a pitcher that is a 6.46 FIP. So I'm going with the official play of the over, but I also like the lean on the Latte Giants at minus 120 to get off the schneid. Well, the Giants, they certainly need something after coming from OM3 on their visit to the Tigers. Now, let's move on to top of the table, NC Dinos. And they're against everyone's whipping boys, the Hammer Eagles. Yeah, the Ozmakers are killing us now because they're putting the Dinos so high. Um, and so you could probably say every single time there's value for the other team that's playing at the Dinos. Um, however, I can't back the Hammer Eagles right now. I, I'm not going to do that. So... Yeah, I would lean towards the Dinos at minus 1.5, at the Juice at minus 150, and lean towards the over 10. Even with an import pitcher like Mike, Mike Wright on the mound for the Dinos, Mike Wright has a 3.21 ERA, but has a 5.18 FIP. He's been able to get out of damage and just found a way here and there. But I'm just, you're just waiting for that moment that he blows up. Like we said yesterday, Alcantara, we were just waiting for that moment for him to blow up. Although the offense did enough for the Deuce and Bears, he struggled a little bit towards the end of that, towards the end of his outing, and he allowed some runs. So I think Mike Wright might allow some more runs to Hanwa in this game, but I think the Dinos still score enough to cover the minus 1.5 and cover minus 250, which is their uh, money line right now. Jang Shi Wan of Hanwa, he's allowed 34 hits in 24.2 innings. He's been a little bit unlucky with the balls in play. His batting average in play is really high at uh, 0.438, so 438 batting average in balls in play. He faced the Dinos once already. Um, he went five innings, gave up four runs, struck out seven, and walked four. So it was an okay matchup. It was okay. Again, Mike Wright's on the mound for the Dinos, and the hitting's been really good. So I'm going to roll with the Dinos minus 1.5 at minus 150 juice as a lean for now. The Dinos are 9-3 and three at home, and Hanwha is 3-9 and nine at home. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, listen, I mean, you've got the Dinos at the top of the league against the worst team in the, out of the whole 10. So, I mean, I'm thinking, you know what I'm like. I'm pushing for the minus 1.5s all day yesterday, and it was tick, 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 tick. I'm seeing this game as a minus 2.5. Let's get on the Dinos to smash the Eagles and go over the 10 as well. Let's hope they get 10 on their own. OK, now this is a tough game. The bottom, this is our last game of the day, and it's going to be the Twins versus the Heroes. And listen, they're both decent outfits. Yeah, this is a, a fun one. Um, the, the line's actually pretty close. So I'm on an official play with Kiwoom at minus 135. Um, Again, this is a tough one, but if you dig deeper into the to the 
the more advanced stats, you can kind of find a lean here. So I'm, uh, yeah. So like I said, I'm on Kiwum minus 135. Uh, Choi Wan Tae of Kiwum, he's got a 3.67 ERA and a 3.21 FIP. And then Lim Chan Gayu of the Twins, he's got a 4.5 ERA but a 2.87 FIP. So you're looking at the FIP, and almost instantly you said, okay, this is going to be an under 10.5 game. So I'm leaning towards the under 10.5. But my official play would be Kiwum, like I said. Chan Gayu is a big strikeout guy. Um, he struck out 9.3 batters for the Twins this season, but he hasn't been this quality throughout his career. He has a 5.06 ERA in his career, and he hasn't really had these stats that he's producing right now throughout his career. While on the other hand, we have Kiwum, uh, Choi Wan Tae. He's got a career ERA of 4.29, and last season in 20 games started, he had a uh, 3.38 ERA. So, Choi Wan Tae has actually performed a lot more consistently throughout the years in his career. Both of these guys have performed at a high level to begin the year. Ki Woom is hitting a lot more consistently right now. So I'm making an official play of Ki Woom at minus 135. Yeah, two good outfits. I mean, I can see why you've gone under the 10.5. I think they match up absolutely brilliantly. Now, give us a recap. Let me fling you back to Taiwan with the two games. And also, all of a sudden, we're not even talking about the weather, Jay. Yeah, this is fun, right? We get actual CBBL uh, baseball for the entire week, and we've enjoyed it. It's been good. We had a great uh, morning today, so let's keep it up with uh, tomorrow morning. Okay, give me your recap. Give me your parlay. Give me your banker. All right, so we got an official play with the Uni Lions at minus 130 over the CTBC Brothers. We're going to lean towards the over 12.5 in that matchup. And then we're going to go with an official play with the Monkeys at minus 1.5 with the juice of around minus 160 against the Fubon Guardians. And we'll lean on the under 14.5 in that matchup. Then okay. we're going to the KBO. We are. We're going to take the Kia Tigers at plus 105 or plus 110 around that range. And then we're going to take the lean on the under 10.5 against the Deuce and Bears. Then we'll take the, KT, uh, the KT Wiz Lati Giants game over 12. And then we'll, that's an official play. And then we'll go with the lean on Lati minus 120. Then we'll go with an official play of Key Room at minus 135 over the LG Twins. And we'll lean towards the under 10.5 in that matchup. Then we're going to go to the Dinos or the Dinos and the Eagles. The Dinos minus 1.5 will be a lean at around minus 150. Then we'll also lean towards the over 10. And then lastly, we'll take the SK Wyverns at around minus 130, minus 140 over the Samsung Lions. Um, and then we'll go with the lean on the over 10.5. Why do we do it? Why do we do it? <laughs> we have to. We, we have Pinto on the mound. So we're going to go with an import pitcher over Kim Dae Woo. Okay. That's what we got to do. And have you got a parlay? Yeah, so the parlay, again, t today's slate or tomorrow's slate is a little more tricky than it was um, yesterday. But I do like the Key Womb Dinos parlay on the money line. So it would be a Key Womb Dinos at around plus 150 as a parlay. Again, it's it's a tougher slate um, this morning, but I do think Key Womb and the Dinos could pull out this parlay at plus 150. Okay, and what about a banker? Yeah, so the banker will be Kiwum at minus 135. I'm very high on Kiwum and their pitcher going uh, Choi Wan Tae. So that's my banker for the day. I remember, go big or go home. Look at a few of them, minus 1.5s. But also remember, it's game one of three. So if that's the case, then maybe we're just going to have a little scouting mission and enjoy the profits from yesterday. So before I say goodbye to Jay, please remember to press the thumb on the way out and show your appreciation. And if you haven't, subscribe and press the uh, ring the bell so that we can notify you whenever there's any content. You will never miss a show again. Also press the link in the description, go over and read Jay's article and not just Jay's article, there's other sports, there's other writers. Jay, good luck. Five and oh yesterday, we're singing all the way to the bank. Yeah, let's keep it going. Let's keep the let's keep the money coming in. Okay, and I'll see you tomorrow. You take care. You got it. Have a good one. Cheers. That's Jay going through Taiwanese and South Korean baseball. Enjoy, everyone, and we'll see you again tomorrow. You take care.